Okay guys, here is everything that you will need. I got my crock pot. I got a jar of golden pepperoncinis. They're just a Tuscan Garden brand from Aldi. Um, I got a pack of brown gravy. Some people use that all just gravy, which is fine. You can use either. I've used both and they both pretty much come out about the same to me. Um, a stick of butter. I also got this pack of Tuscan Garden Ranch Salad Dressing Mix. I got a pack of uh, chicken breasts here. It's got three breasts in it, which is normally about what I cook for me and my husband. Makes plenty, and we have leftovers. But if you have a bigger family, of course, you might want to double this recipe. Um, I did tear my chicken open while I go by accident. And then I just got me a little thing of tongs just to grab my chicken with. But that's it. Chicken, butter, gravy mix, and ranch, and the pepperoncinis. And we're just going to throw all this in the crock pot. And it turns out amazing, y'all. Okay, so first thing I like to do is pour in some juice. Just so my chicken ain't laying on the very bottom. And I kind of wish I had uh, crock pot liners, but I don't. Okay, so I just like to cover the bottom with juice. I hear it sizzling because I got my um, crock pot heated up. I always try to heat up my crock pot a little bit in advance. The chicken breasts are still a tad bit on the partially frozen side. These are pretty thick slices of chicken breasts. Okay. Just lay them, just lay them in there like so. Next thing you do is just throw in your stick of butter. I just lay it on top just like that. Grab your packets. This is the brown gravy. Dump that in. I just kind of dump it all over it. It's all going to cook down, so it don't matter. It ain't got to be nothing fancy or precise. Throw in your ranch seasoning. Whole pack. This is super simple, y'all. I mean, it don't even take me this long. I'm just going longer because I'm showing y'all. But it's so easy, so delicious. You can eat it by itself. You can put rice with it. We love. I love to serve it over rice. Now I'm just going to lay about four pepperoncinis in it. You could do five, six, whatever you like. But I've noticed when I cook these, I'm going to put this little teeny piece in there. The more pepperoncinis you got, the stronger it's going to be in pepperoncini flavor. So I wanted to I wanted to give you a quick tip. If you put too many pepperoncinis in it, it can make it really strong. I mean, and you, all your taste is the pepperoncinis. So I usually go four to five. That's about the most. And the last time I cooked this, about an hour before I was ready to eat it, I put in about a... Um, probably about a fourth to a half cup of water and mixed it in and it kind of diluted that pepperoncini taste a little and it was so good it was the best one yet so I recommend putting in a little water just to tone down the pepperoncini because it can get over overbearing with the pepperoncini sometimes <laughs> if you're not careful so just remember that you know if it's too strong for your taste because we all have different taste buds and um, if it's a little bit too strong in pepperoncini flavor, just put a little bit of water in it. It'll be fine. And it was so good. My husband and I both raved over this, talked about how it was, to us, it was better than using the pot roast. And it's way cheaper, guys. It is way cheaper to use your chicken breast than to use, go out and get a pot roast, you know. So more likely, I'm going to keep using the chicken just because... 
to us it was better but anyway that's it let it cook i just let it this cook you can cook it on high for through you know three four hours or you can cut it on low and let it cook all day because it don't take chicken all day to cook like it does a big pot roast so you know it's real simple and just shred it up when at the end of the day when you're ready to eat it and it's so good so I put this on on a Wednesday morning. I like to do this on Wednesdays because we have church on Wednesday nights and we'll eat dinner after we get home from church. So um, in a little while, I'll cook some rice to go with this. Now, I don't like to cook the rice in the pot because I don't want it to be soggy and all that. But I will cook some rice on the side and then just, you know, top it with this. So I'll do that later and I'll show you that when I get it done and we get ready to eat this evening. I'll show you what it looks like. It's super good. Okay, guys, it is about 9.15 at night. We just got home from church. I shredded all this up before I left and went to church, so I just kind of kept it on warm while we was at church, and I cooked us some rice, and I'm fixing to put this on top of some rice, and that's what we're going to have for dinner. This is so simple, so good, y'all. Y'all need to try it out if you had not tried it out. Um, let me show you what it looks like on rice. Okay, guys, here's what it looks like. I put some rice in the bowl and then topped it with our chicken. It's really good. Yummy. So, I hope you enjoyed seeing this video today on how I made my Mississippi chicken. Um, if you did, y'all give me a big thumbs up. Y'all leave me some comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a good one. God bless. Bye.